Ah, boy. Hello, I'm Karen Mangicotti. Welcome to Danger Snacks. I am a woman with a functioning uterus. Since I don't want to have a baby every month, on the months that I am not pregnant, the blood and uterine lining that normally would hold a fertilized egg leaves my body about every 28 days. Yeah, we're going here. It's called menstruation or having a period or bleeding from my vagina. It is also sometimes called riding the crimson wave, shark week, on the rag or ragging, bloody Mary, time of the month or Tom or uncle Tom or cousin Tom, high tide, crime scene, red tent, red scare, red baron, the reds are playing downtown, red sky at morning, sailors take warning, broken, the cycle, the curse, lady time, lady business, and for some reason, a lot of aunts. Aunt Flo, Aunt Fanny, Aunt Irma, Aunt Martha, Aunt Ruby, Aunt Sally, Aunt Tilly, my aunt from Reading, my aunt from the Red River. Apparently aunt means menstruation more than it means actually aunt. Look, I don't care what you call it, but I think it's time we started talking about it. Half of the population will have their period for most of their lives. So if you are a woman, or if you know a woman, maybe it's a good thing to figure out what happens each month when your aunts visit. The first thing we should talk about is shame. There there is no shame in having a functioning uterus. Without these magical devices, the human race would not continue. Being embarrassed about people knowing that you have your period, or being embarrassed about buying tools that you might need when you menstruate, it doesn't need to be your thing. Be confident. Your body's working. It's doing what it's designed to do. Be clear about your needs and about your situation with the people around you. If it makes people squirm, that's on them, not on you. The second thing we should talk about is being kind to yourself and others. Let people around you know that you might be extra sensitive, that you may be uncomfortable, that you may need some time or some care. Let's give some credit to the people in our lives. They probably want to help. They probably have empathy. And they probably at least would like to give you some space. You do not have to feel guilty about the fact that men don't have this issue or this extra need. Believe me, men have plenty of issues that make them high maintenance on occasion. You're fine. Let yourself bleed without guilt or shame. And third, let's just stop talking about it like it's a dirty, dirty secret and start talking about it like what it is, an inevitable part of life as a woman. Not a curse, not a tragedy, and certainly not a crime scene. When my daughter was four, she went over to a friend's house. A tampon commercial came on TV and her friend asked what that was, so my daughter told her. I later got a call from an incredulous mother. Tampons are for when you shed your uterine lining? Are you kidding me? No, I would have said blood, but that sounded scary. My daughter and her daughter were no longer allowed to play with each other. In my house, I tell my teenage sons when I have my period. I tell them that the women in their lives will have this and that it is their job as humans to be kind and to get her what she needs. I am doing my part to stop this stigma and I have a call to action for you. Say when you have your period. Say what's going on for you when it happens and say what you need. I'm bleeding from my vagina here, people. Can I have a quick moment of peace and some fucking chocolate?